so a lot has been said about comedy wrestling over the years. Funny don't make money, I think, is the, uh, the, <laughs> the most popular common parlance about this sort of thing. But, I, so, so, but you know, a lot's been said. But the first question I wanted to ask, Adam, is are you a fan of comedy wrestling? Yes, 100%. I think that's, that's, that's an easy one for me to answer. I think wrestling is a very, very silly uh, craft. Uh, and I think it's it needs to occasionally recognize how silly it is. Mm -hmm. um, I do prefer like kind of story, like um, serious storylines, like, you know, the Daniel Bryan or blah, blah, blah. Like when, 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 it, when wrestling is, takes itself perfectly seriously, I do think it's a bigger draw. I do think funny can draw though. Um, and for me, the greatest example of that is well, the match that I was most looking forward to from AEW Revolution was Orange Cassidy versus Pac. Yeah. Um, that was because, and that was uh, not just a comedy match, but you could argue it's a very good straight up wrestling match anyway. But the draw of that was the comedic mishmash of someone who doesn't try versus the world's angriest over trying <laughs> monster. Yeah. Um, and the, the sheer comedic, that doesn't make sense. That's the draw. Yeah. And I would have legit paid, you know, hard money to see that live because yeah. it's such a brilliant, uh, but incredibly self-aware and stupid matchup. And it's only worked as well, because the one thing that you we have seen from AEW, when you look at, you know, the, the deep dive into the numbers is one of the biggest draws that they have in terms of ratings is Orange Cassidy. When and he is the merch. Yeah, in terms of much, yeah, absolutely. So when he is in segments, they do their numbers go up. So the argument that money don't make uh, funny don't make money really can't be argued here because Cassidy is massively over. It's a gimmick that you can't put on TV every week. Like you couldn't put him in a match every week because it would really lose its lust. Uh, it, you know what makes it special quite quickly. But yeah, man, it's really working in the early days, and I think it's a, it's a funny as hell gimmick. And that match of Revolution is incredibly one of the best matches that AEW have ever put on. Mm. I think like it, it's difficult to argue. I think a lot of people have a stigma against comedy just because comedy gimmicks tend not to be main event gimmicks. Like the one reason why I think I, I think most people are very positive about Otis winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. But I think you know, yeah, exactly. I. I I would have preferred AJ Styles personally, but <laughs> uh, I don't have a problem with Otis winning. It's just that, yeah, there is still, especially in WWE, an incongruity between Otis, world champion, but he's funny. Like yeah. that, that for me was an initial head scratcher. Perhaps it shouldn't be because Otis is incredibly talented, um, has, you know, been part of one of the most dutifully booked uh, wrestling storylines in in wrestling for the last few months. So it does it makes sense that he would, you know, want to kind of move up the card. But there still is that kind of block between just like, that doesn't make sense. He's not the right kind of guy. And I'm not sure if that's me being prejudiced against comedy wrestlers or just how I know that comedy what the what the role comedy has in wwe mm -hmm. because the role you know because wwe yeah comedy wrestlers fulfill a very specific type and there is a there is a kind of problem that once you fall into the comedy wrestler role in wwe you don't come out yeah totally because santino morella you know is you know he was he started off as a as a legit talent winning the intercontinental title they found out he was funny and then he just sort of stuck around in that sort of not even mid card slightly but slightly underneath it just popping up whenever they needed you know a lull well, i mean our truth has found himself in that exact same position basically you know he balls up one promo that one time where he got this name of the city wrong mm -hmm. and he has been saddled with this you're a comedy dunce gimmick now for what 10 years at this point he has just been you're the comedy dunce and part of that is because you know reportedly and i think this has been on record as well that vince mcmahon thinks he's the funniest person in the world and apparently they get on like a house on fire and he just thinks he's really funny mm -hmm. so that's all the truth does now he is just there to be comedy we're not going to get that the truth will set you free gimmick that we had from like 2010 when he was actually facing john cena for the wwe championship that's that's long gone now Truth is just, you are the guy that is going to be going after the Gronk and thinking he's Tom Brady. That's your role now. Mm. I, th I think it, it, 
I think in other promotions, obviously, well, I mean, there are there are some straight up comedy promotions like DDT, um, which and like I could watch giant pandas in wrestling each other in Japan like all day long. Uh, that and, and the thing is, like, it it goes to the question is, what will you buy a ticket for? Um, <laughs> and I would I would buy I would. I would probably rather buy a ticket. Like if I was in Japan and I had a choice of, obviously I, I would like to see uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, but if I had a choice of all the other um, uh, Japanese promotions, DDT would probably be next top of my list just because of I, of the time I know I would have. Yeah. Um, but in, in, in terms of like Western wrestling, um, in WWE, there is certainly like a, a very clear place for comedy wrestlers and that kind of molds your expectations of them but i think in aew it's a little it's a lot less it's a lot less lot less restrictive like um you know there's there's room for comedy in a lights out unsanctioned match kenny omega comes out with a broom covered in barbed wire and yeah. matt hardy his gimmick is in intrinsically funny um and we saw that do amazing things in in impact uh less so in wwe because they didn't get it uh and comedy has its place in wwe and that's released uh at, uh in you know he's gone straight to the top of the card in aew because yeah people people have fun when matt and, hardy's around and you know what like chris jericho is also one of the biggest draws in aew and he is a comedy heel effectively like you take him dead serious it's it's got in that can angle sort of way that Kurt Angle was a legit badass in the ring, but then would do a backstage segment where he's wearing a tiny cowboy hat, badly singing Kumbaya. You know, um, so I oh know it was Jimmy Craig Corner he sang. So, um, but those two things can work together. And I think Jericho is currently doing that really well in AEW. Him and Hager had that segment where Jericho couldn't say the word sorry. So he kept having to pass the microphone to Hager to say it for him. Like <laughs> he's now got a baseball bat here. He's named Floyd. Like he does a lot of comedy stuff, but he is still a legit main event heel. Yeah, it's it's that ability to to let the laughter stop and then stab someone in the eye <laughs> with a spike from your jacket. 